Hi, welcome to my contour, contour? contour tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I contour and highlight my own face. Um, I've not, this is my first video, so I'm not, I'm not really kind of up on how to edit things and stuff like that at the minute, so I think it's kind of going to be just in one run, so please excuse me if I ramble a little bit. Now the first thing I do when I'm contouring, generally I'll do my eye makeup first, um, usually I put a layer of foundation on, then I do my eye makeup, and then I really do the, the highlights and the contour, just because I feel it gives a much cleaner, more precise look with the contour because sometimes you can find that if you put an eyeshadow on after you can get bits that drop down and if you don't quite know how to get rid of that then it just it just gets messy and sometimes people often find that they have to start again which is not ideal. So with the foundation I've used Estee Lauder Double Wear this is in 3C2 Pebble Um, I use this foundation in kind of in the day when I've not got much of a tan um, I find it matches my skin tone really well. When I'm on a night out, I usually use this one. This is Match Mac, Mac Match Master in shade 50. Um, obviously, it's not going to look great if I put it on now. So I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Another really good alternative to the Double Wear is Bourjois. This is the Healthy Mix um, foundation. I don't know what colour that is actually. It's not really relevant because you've obviously everyone's got their own skin tone. So um, yeah, so I use I use a lot of different foundations for different things just because I obviously wear a lot of fake tan when I go out. So blah blah blah. Anyway, after you've applied to the foundation like so, the next thing I'll do after that, if you make sure it's relatively even you can go back and sort of touch it up but it's always good to start with a really good base um, and before I do that sorry I use this this is Benefit Professional um, I don't know if you have the same but I have quite a few open pores on my nose so it just gives more of a airbrushed effect before you start without having to kind of rectify that with makeup so after I've done that I mean this is going to be like a really heavy look so this isn't ideal for daytime but this is what I would do on a night out. Um, I use MAC Full Coverage Foundation. See there, I actually need a new one. This is in NW25. Um, this is really good again, like I said, for the pores. Um, I use it mainly around my nose and cheeks. I just find that it kind of fills any, any imperfections. Um, so I generally put this on just to build up that area because I like a really flat kind of like the Kim K really like matte obviously then with highlight that's the look I go for when I go out um, I'm not very good with natural looks so if you just kind of use I'm using this brush as well this is a flat foundation brush um, the one I applied the foundation is this stippling brush these will be available very soon so come back for information about the So I kind of apply this, this is a really good match to my foundation, so I kind of just apply this over the areas that, um, that I feel might not look quite so neat. Right, so when you think you've got sort of quite an even base on your foundation, the next thing you need to do the next thing I do is apply my concealer. I wasn't sure whether to go for the contour. Now I'm going to show you this way first because this is the way I usually do it. I'm not saying it's the correct way but this is how I do mine. So the best concealer that I've found to sort of highlight and really lift and bring that area up if you are wanting it really really light like Kim Kardashian has. So this is the Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is NC20, this is by MAC, um, you might not want it this light, this is what I use, but the best thing that I'd recommend obviously is to go into a store and ask them um, just what colour they'd recommend, so you're obviously wanting to go a few shades lighter than your natural skin tone. This is really really light, um, but that's how I like it, I'm not very subtle. So what I do with this, I just apply a small blob onto my hand and then 
I go dab this onto the under my eyes just with a flat brush like this and what you're wanting to do is to take it from this inside corner right the way up here and bringing it down so you've almost sort of got a triangle there and then after you've done that I take one of these this is a um, hang. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a little, um, I do know, but it's gone from my head. It's kind of like one of these little egg-shaped egg sponges you get in, um, you can get them in like Superdrug boots, um, anywhere like that. Um, this one was, I think this was from Superdrug. So what I've done, I've damp dampened this because um, I, th I just feel it works a lot better if it's damper. Now where you've got that really, you see in the light, and really, really light there, you're dabbing this in. So you're not you're not rubbing it, you're just literally dabbing, dabbing this area. So you're kind of just dabbing over this area, like that. You see that nice and light. I'm really sorry that I've not got the best lighting or anything yet, so I will be, um, I will be upgrading things as we progress. So then you're going onto the other side. As you can see now, we look a little bit, a bit scary. So, the other areas you are wanting to apply this, the other areas I apply this, are here. What I find with this as well, if you're applying it on your forehead like this, another trick that I use, which I'll, I'll do a separate brow one for you, but another trick that I use, it makes your brows look really, really, um, to find is to use a really thin brush, a thinner one than this, I'll show you separately, um, and a concealer and literally take it around the edges of your brows and it gives you that really arch look. Um, I don't really do that look with my brows anymore but I used to. Right, so the other area you're wanting to apply this is around the chin, like this. And the lips, but I'll I kind of do those bits afterwards just to give to make them more precise. So it's starting to work and starting to look a bit contoured. Now you've done that. So what I'm going to do now is add the really dark, the contour. So what you need to remember when you're contouring is anything that you're making lighter is going to appear bigger, especially on photos. So this is why. Kim Kardashian always has that really chiselled look. Anything you're taking dark is is going to sit back. So I obviously put quite a lot here of contour because I have the biggest forehead ever. Um, here, I often do down the sides of my nose because my nose is actually quite un in unsymmetrical on one side. So I, I kind of try and taper that in a little bit. Um, and under the jawline is a massive, massive tip. So to give you that chiselled kind of chiselled edge here, um, contouring is the way forward. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this colour here, and um, this is from an unbranded palette um, that I actually just acquired a sample of, so I can't actually say what it is, but this is the darkest colour um, that I tend to go with contour. Um, another colour which is really good is this one by Smashbox. This is Suntan Matte and this is a really nice colour for contouring as well. Actually it is a bit darker than it looks on the screen. Um, but it's really really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this this brush to start with. This again, um, these brushes will be available soon. Um, there will be a full set of 29 makeup brushes available um, and they're really really good. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Right, so to start off with the contour, I'm going to look in the mirror so you can kind of see what I'm doing. You need to find the line which is sort of le level with the bottom of your cheekbone. So you're going to, it's probably going to come about just just under the top of your ear, coming down like this. So you're going to apply, I mean I'm using a powder but you can do it with um, 
with like a cream, like this is quite a good palette as well, this is a sleek one, um, correct and concealer palette, so they're, they're really good colours as well. Um, I find it easier to contour here, especially with a powder, um, just because I, I just find like I have a bit more control and you can, you can add it in bigger areas than with the, the um, cream ones tend to be a bit fiddly. So what I'm going to do is start by, you don't have to put it all on in one go, you just start, start with a little bit and work your way up. See? Yeah, so this is what I'm going to start and do. Like so. So that's how you start with the thing I'm going to do the other side as well. It's really hard for me to look while I'm filming. So just make sure, the one thing I see, and I see it on a few celebrities as well, when they have these big tiger stripes down the cheeks and it's, it's really not nice. See? That's what they look like. But I haven't blended it in yet, so. Right, so if you start by applying like that, just make sure you've got it even on both sides. And then you can take a larger brush, which I would be using this. This is like literally my favourite brush because it's it's angled as well, so it really gets in that cheekbone area there. So you're really starting to cir circle that in and really kind of buff that in. And pull some funny faces while I'm doing this. Like that, you see? See the difference? Correct? Not correct. So really start to buff that in here. Keep going until until you feel that it's the lighting is actually making it look odd, but it's it's not odd in the mirror. And sometimes I feel if you do get a little bit of a sharp line, you can just buff that in with your foundation, like so. Now with the forehead, favourite bit, that's what I said. Um, again, you can you can use any one of these colours, whichever one you feel comfortable with. Um, it's always better to go a few shades darker because you don't want to, you know, you want it to look like you've really contoured because you want people to kind of notice, oh, you've contoured, it looks really good. Um, just around the edges of the forehead. I found this looks good for me as well, like on photos, because it kind of like, takes that bit into, into nowhere and it stops me looking like I've got a massive fire head. I wish I have. Um, so you're obviously going just around the edges of that. I'm going to hide it again now. Um, like so. Now what you can also do, you can always take a bigger brush, um, a big, a big, like, blusher type brush and really really burn that, if you're not that comfortable, if it's like the first time you've highlighted or you feel that it looks a little bit too dark, just take that like that. So you can kind of see, it's starting to work, I'm looking human again. Um, now, the nose area, um, I mean you can do this with the powder or with the, um, or with the cream. I'm just, I'm going to use a powder, I'm going to use a little Smashbox one for this just so you can see um, what I'm doing. I'm using this brush, this is obviously another brush from the fantastic set that is available soon. Um, now with this, you want to take it, I tend to, when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I'll show you in another video, I tend to use this colour, it's like a transition colour, this is an orange one by MAC, I'll find out the exact name when I do the video. Um, I don't know if you can sort of tell, like, I've got a lot of it in here, so sometimes what I used to do is use like a contour colour in the in the creases and then sort of bring it down here. So, so what you need to do with that is take it almost from where it would be in these corners and make sure you get quite a, like don't do sort of do this for the sake of it, like a lot of people have these tiny little noses and then they start contouring their nose and it's like well don't really need to do it so don't do it just because Kim Kardashian does it or because everybody's talking about it because it's probably not really relevant to you um, but if you have got a wide nose or like you feel that 
you just feel that you want some slimming down on your face, then I would recommend it. My problem is I've got quite a short nose, um, and there's not really a lot I can do about it, so I just kind of do the rest of me instead. So now you've seen those, you've got those dark lines down your nose. This smaller brush, now I use the bigger version, the daddy version, to really blend that in. So I take that, and I tend to start there and blend it outwards. Because you're wanting, to, you're wanting to keep this light bit down the nose um, where your highlight is. So just taking that like that, taking it right up there because you don't want to have a line where it starts. And another contour tip um, is obviously the tip of the nose. I do mine quite low obviously because if I do it higher it's going to look even more, even more shorter. So you can just just define the tip a little bit. Um, if you search on the internet, there are loads of like pictures of examples. There's a great one of Kim Kardashian, and that kind of that kind of shows you like exactly where to do it. Really blend all that in there. Um, you can obviously go over it a little bit with your the brush you use for your highlight. I don't really, I don't really like doing my nose, um, but I'm just showing you guys so you know what, how to do it properly. There, can't tell totally, only a little bit. The lighting's not actually the best either. Right, so when you've done that, I just drop something. Right, so where are we? Neck. So with your neck, what you're going to take? I'm going to go in the brush set. And I'm gonna get quite a big brush. Um, the biggest one. This is the biggest brush. I'm gonna take this one. This is like a big bronzer. It's brand new, not been used yet. This is a bronzer brush. Um, so what I do with that is I take take quite a dark contour to do under my neck. And obviously, when you're doing your foundation, another thing I notice, especially girls that use MAC, um, that may have a shade that is a little bit too yellow, they tend to like stop here or here or here. And like there's nothing worse than seeing a beautiful girl in a picture with a lovely tan and a yellow face. Um, and I've kind of got a bit of a case of foundation face at the minute. So always really with your foundation, like I haven't really done it today, but try and take it, sort of try and get it down here as well because there's nothing worse than, sometimes it can look great in person and then when you're on a photo, it's like just, isn't, especially if you're on holiday in the summer and you've got a bit of, a, bit of sunburn or whatever. Right, so you're taking your darkest colour, or one of your darkest, and you're taking that right under here, your neckline, because this is what's going to really give you, especially if you've got like a bigger neck, um, or you just want a more defined um, look. This is what I do this quite a bit. Um, now I've got short hair as well, because I, I like it to look more kind of like that. So. I also really have to make sure I do around my neck now as well. Like You're really getting that under here. As long as you've not got like a really big dark line, which I haven't, um, it just gives like, just gives it that, you see, that kind of chiselled look. There. And this is a really nice brush as well, just for really blending it all in like that. Now, as you can see, it's starting to work. Um, right, so the next thing you need to do um, is use your blusher. And I'm just going to get a blusher brush. Sorry, I'm not very organised today. This is in the, like this set literally has like every single kind of brush you can ever imagine, and it's amazing. Um, so this is my blusher brush. Um, this is called Rose by Mac. This is literally like. I have so many, I don't know if you can see in here, I have so many different blushes and blusher colours. Um, but this is like my go-to colour. Um, it's matte and I prefer using matte blushes and then adding sort of the highlight on top. Um, I literally make my face as matte as possible and then lift the bits with, um, with like highlighters and creams and stuff. Now where you want to apply your blusher is sort of where you've got your contour here, so you're kind of going on this sort of transition area and on the cheeks um so just gently apply it you don't need to add too much too much blusher you can see it just gives it a really nice bit of color 
see your cheeks, there is smile, so there it is, I can see. So you're kind of working on the apples and, and working back. As you can see, I've not really gone overboard with the blusher, but just applied enough, enough there. So there you have it, you can see. Contour and blusher. Highlighting. This is not my favourite bit because this is a bit that a lot of people miss out. Um, and I feel that it's um, really, really, really important, especially when you're contouring. Now, I've got a few different highlighters um, that I really like to use. The first one, you'll have to excuse because it did get um, attacked by my dog. Um, so I don't actually use this one anymore. I've just kept it in there to remind myself of the colour because um, it's all dried out. This is Orgasm by NARS. This is a creamy, um, a creamy illuminator and um, it's absolutely beautiful I wish I could show you but I can't because it's been eaten um it's like a it's like a really pinky kind of goldy look um a th one thing that I'm not a fan of is people that have the um highlighters and they're like they've got that like pearly like pearly almost like iridescent blue to it I really I really I'm not a fan of that. I much prefer things with a golden tone. Um, so that one's fantastic. Another one, I don't know if you can get this anymore, but if you can get something similar, then it's absolutely beautiful. This is um, MAC Luster Drops. It's Sunrush, and it's, again, it's like, I'll show you. It's like a creamy, like, it's, it's like everything. I, like, love it so much. But I'm going to show you with a powder one today, just because I've used, like, a powder... Um, powder contour so it's a lot um, it will just go a lot better um, but I can show you a way of making your own one of those well similar if you buy this now this is MAC like, I'm a massive fan of MAC just because I find that they do so many different colours like pigments, blushes, everything this is MAC Global Glow um, if, you, if you're going to get one thing please get this because this is amazing this is, this is it um, this is a highlighter, and it's like a mineralised highlighter. Now I said before about the cream ones, a really good way of getting this into a cream is if you get a little pot um, and you just scrape a bit off, you can mix that with like a like a face cream and it makes, makes like a creamy, I've actually got one here, I'm gonna show you. You can make it into like a little cream. There's not a lot left in that, I need to do another one. Um, but that's that's a really really good tip if you want you know if you're like on holiday and you, you've not got a lot of makeup on but you still want a glow that's like a really cute little thing that you can take on holiday so i'm just going to use it in the powder form today um and i'm going to use this brush this is another really good brush from the set that i keep going on about and that will be here soon i'm excited um right so i'm going to take take this on the brush and i'm going to take this literally so you want to take it just above where you put that that um, contour, so you're getting this right on the cheekbones, and I tend to take it up here, and it's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, because it's, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, because um, because of the lighting. Maybe if I put a bit more on, you'll be able to see it. And you see, you can, you can see that there. It's like the most, and this honestly, on photos, this is the most amazing product, like, in the whole wide world, so. It gives you that really nice, like, just that glow and that really glossy, kind of Cheryl Cole, glamorous look. Um, I'm not obsessed with it. So, this is it. And you just take that there. You can do it with a bigger brush. Um, I just do this really, and this brush is nice because it's really long, so I just do it really gently with, with that brush. Um, you can kind of see that there. Like absolutely beautiful. Um, so there you go. So that's kind of it. Um, the other thing you can do, which sometimes I do, is use. Um, I usually use this, but um, I think I've lost my other one. Yeah, I have lost it. That's annoying. Um, the one thing you can use is high beam. Um, but I've been using this at the moment. This is Smashbox Halo Highlighting Wand. This is a little bit pearly, like I said earlier, that I, I wasn't too into, but it's not too bad because it's kind of like, a, you can't really, it's kind of like a, 
Oh, it's that bottom one there. You can't really see it. It's like a natural um, colour. So what I tend to can do with that, I don't always do this. I use my finger with this because obviously your fingers are like amazing tools for makeup and people underestimate. As long as your hands are clean, um, then you can. And sometimes I put that just there, just down the centre there to give it. And it can, if you've got quite like, if you want your nose to be a bit more tipped, this is like really good for that. So, there. There you have it. Um, that's it really. If you, I, would, I haven't put a powder on today, but um, if you if you did one, it's it's more recommended to use a powder over your contour. Um, but I I actually forgot to be honest. Um, I don't always play by the rules. I don't always use a, a powder over my con over my highlight. Um, for no real reason. It's just I'm just not in the habit of doing it, so I don't. Um, Bobbi Brown. This is a really good powder. Um, I'm not going to open it. Oh, I dropped it anyway. I was going to say I'm not going to open it because it's broken. Um, and that is why they always break, because I always drop them. So that's fantastic. Um, and it comes with like just a pat, like a presser, so you just like press it on. Um, and you do that sort of, I do that after my highlight, before my contour, and just sweep it off and then, then add your contour. So um, yeah, I hope I hope that's answered a few questions. And I will do another one when I get um, better equipment to edit and stuff. I just wanted to show you quickly and try and get in the habit of um, knowing how to do these videos because I've never done one before. So, thank you. Um, if you have any requests, then let me know. <laughs> Cheers.